quickly switching gears to the legs. Pop the armband off. I'm gonna grab the leg bands here. Stick those right there. And again, this is just a warm up. I'm already sweating. Yeah, it's hot out here in Florida. But ah, there's my breath. Okay, so you notice once you take those bands off, you get that rush of blood flow back up through your body and it causes you to take a nice deep breath. Abandon today. Up nice and tight. Get that sucker up in there. See those white legs. I work inside. So I got pasty white legs. But now that we're all trapped at home, I might be able to get some sun on these ghostly white legs of mine. All right. Got legs. When you're putting the leg band on, you kind of want to relax that leg a little bit. You don't want your quads to be all tight, contracted. Oh, got around backwards. It's okay. You figure it out quickly if something's not right. This is a great setup and design. All right, guys. Pull the leg, shut down the outside, shut it down the inside. Make sure everything's comfortable, connected. All right, here we go. Now we're going into the leg warm up. We're going to go pro high. Okay. Starting off back to the leg, we're gonna do just basic hip hinge squats. So we're going back, going back to the squatting. So all you're doing, just nice hip hinge squat, okay? Nothing too crazy here. Nice, comfortable stance in those legs. And as you squat down, when you come up, squeeze your butt together and go up on your toes, okay? I don't know why, but I get in the habit of swinging my arms forward to help with my momentum. That's something I picked up in the old pro wrestling days, doing those Hindu squats in the ring. We basically just do this to 500. That'll burn your legs out. But ideally, when you land, you wanna be in this position. This is the jump position. So arms back in a squat, arms up high when you come forward. So hip hinge squats. Next one we're gonna do just a light hip swing. Now these, if you need to hang on to something, that's fine. PVC pipes come in handy for all kinds of things. So we're gonna do about 10 on each leg. So start by standing on that right leg. You wanna stack your ankle, your knee, and your hip all up together. And you're just gonna swing, okay? So ideally, you wanna to try to balance on that stance leg. One two and you can slide your foot if you need to like a rudder switch legs mash your toe in the ground grab the floor with your foot swing that leg you can go straight leg for a few you can bend your knee but you're really working the leg you're standing on that's your balance leg so you're coordinating a bunch of muscles balancing on the stance leg while you're swinging your other side so that's hip swing. Then we're going to do drop squats. So this is a great primer if you're going to do heavy leg workout. Check out those white legs. Okay, drop squat. This is a precursor to a jump. So it's basically what happens when you land. You can teach landing mechanics for days. What you're going to do, triple extension. So you go up on your toes, lock your knees out straight, push your hips forward, throw your arms up, and you drop. And you're punching the floor with your foot. Okay, so you want to pound that floor. So up on toes, and then you drop into a squat. Up, slam it to the ground. Slam in more on the forefoot, on the front of your foot, inside. Down, slam. Up, down, up, and punch the ground. Make sure you punch that ground. Show that ground who's boss. All right, so doing about five of those. That was a drop squat. And then give her body a second to rest. 
with the drop squats. They're not so much uh, trying to wear you out, you're trying to basically wake up your nerves. So then, once you get good at the double leg drop squat, you go into a single leg drop squat. The main thing here is don't let your knee collapse in. So you go up on two, down on one. And so, switching legs, up on two, down on one, okay? So the other leg just kind of floats, you put like maybe 10% of weight on there, if that. And you're dropping down, up, down. Up on two, down on one. Up on two, down. So you're just kind of falling, you know, a little, little hop. Main thing here is don't let that knee collapse in. Keep it out nice and wide, okay? So doing about three single leg drop squats. Okay, trying to keep track of where we're going. Katsu is awesome because it keeps you moving fast. You don't have time to think. It's great, you don't have time to rest. All right, so we're gonna, a little bit of hip mobility before we really get into this leg workout. So we're gonna do up, out, and wide. So again, balance on your foot, push your toes into the ground, swing your right leg up, high, and out. Switch feet, a little bend in your knee, toes into the ground, up, high, and out. Up, open them up. So open up that hip. This might feel a little sore, a little painful again. You gotta hang on to something, hang on to something. It's all right, but you're trying to balance. This is a balanced exercise with hip mobility on the other side. So one leg's balancing, the other hip's mobilizing. mobilizing. All right, where are we at? Okay, so this next one, again, we're gearing up for a good leg workout. We're gonna do a drop squat into a lateral step. So at first, you're gonna start slow. So you go up on two, and you drop down on both feet, and then you push off the inside foot, and you go off to one side, okay? So we're gonna try that again. So up on two, drop, quick. Up on two, hold your arms up if you want. Drop step, push off, okay? So up on two, drop, push. Up on two, drop, push, okay? So the main thing here is you're really trying to fire off the inside of that inside foot, drop. So up on two, drop. Up on two, drop, okay? So three on each side. Up on two, dropping, driving off, hitting the ground, and stopping. Sticking the landing. Drop squat, the lateral hop. All right, we're almost done here. Where are we at? We're on number seven. All right, so now we're gonna do basic single leg squat. Think like a high knee, we're gonna all training. This is balance, strength. So step back lunge, high knee. Switch feet, toes in the ground. Step back lunge, high knee. Step back lunge, high knee. Sit back, lunge, high knee. So don't be afraid to use your hands to help you balance. Step back, lunge, high knee. Use your torso how you need to. Keep your balance. Sit back, lunge, high. Lunge, high. Sit back, lunge, high. Lunge, high. Lunge, high. Okay, same for about 10 of those. All right, last set, jump squats. Good old jump squats. So don't do these unless you're geared up, warmed up, ready to go. These are really hard on our knees. So sort of light. Wanna go for about 10. Um, main thing here is, is you're really trying to keep in the air as much as possible. M on the ground, minimal time. As soon as those calves stretch, throw your hips forward, fire right back up. Up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Don't drop your cycle. That'd be a really bad day if you drop that guy. So sometimes you can hang on to that. So here we are. Cycle eight. Pop. Get in and get it before the cycle's over. So now, shut that off real quick. I got the leg bands filled up, ready to go. And now I'm gonna go into my workout today. We're gonna do some legs, maybe some back, some arms. <laughs> Again, I pretty much do a little bit of everything every day. So, hope you guys like that upper body, lower body quick warm up. Once you do that, you should be 
ready to go to do any sort of full body workout. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.